What is going on guys? Welcome back to my garage. I'm over here. Um, very excited because I actually got a brand new machine. I just built it uh, a couple days ago and I'm very excited to show you guys. So this is a CNC plasma cutter that can actually cut four by eight. So I'm very excited because this is a awesome tool which we can create a bunch of brackets, bunch of signs, a bunch, just a bunch of stuff. Um, I've always wanted one and I finally got one. I built it the other day. I mean, it was a lengthy process, but I was able to do so. Now with the camera turned around, I wanted to show you guys here. So this is actually uh, Langmar Systems. So it's a Langmar Systems. This is a Crossfire Pro. So this is a four foot by, not four by eight, I'm sorry. It's a four foot by three foot. So it's a four by three uh, plasma cutter. CNC plasma cutter and I got the razor weld cut 45 amp uh, plasma cutter that's paired up actually with the company and um, yeah so I finished finally finished uh, building her I've been testing her out you have to get an air compressor and I also put a filter over here I pretty much copied a setup that one of uh, another YouTuber had, his name's Spicer Designs. I followed his setup, so that's pretty much the setup I have. And here we have the fire control, which this is the system that actually controls the CNC. So I'm very excited because, you know, I can make a lot of, a lot of new items, really, brackets and stuff like that. Look, I've already been practicing on some, some, uh, brackets as you can see that bracket wasn't from the uh from the machine but i cut it up bent it welded it and uh yeah so i did that i also did look i already did another little cervantes uh tag over here i've been practicing or trying to practice you know, this is 14 gauge steel um look, there's another sign over here that I've already done which is this is nice I also did a couple of beer openers f-bombs with the beer opener so it's pretty cool so I got another program right now that I'm gonna load it up because they have a little it's like a little splash guard uh, bracket that I'm gonna make is just to prevent this from getting splashed up I'm probably also gonna make another one on this side just as you can see, you can see the plasma cutter through here. So I'll probably make another bracket over there, but I'm gonna show you guys how we do it. So this program is actually already, uh, someone already designed it. So if you go through here, this is the system that we actually use. It's called FireShare. And a lot of people make a bunch of designs and they share the files with you. So as you can see, there you got the file, you download it and you put it in the program. So right now, let me put that program over here. So the one I'm gonna be using is this one. When you open it, boom, there's the program to cut it over here. So I'll show you guys how that gets cut. All right guys, so we have the program loaded up. I set the axis to zero starting at this point over here. Plasma cutters on, air compressors on, everything's ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that start button. I got my ground over there, so let's get to it.
see how she sets. I'll show you guys. So right now what I'm struggling is pretty much the torch speed because that really depends on uh, you know how your metal comes out. So this is 14 gauge right now. This was at 70 inches per minute at uh it's about 33 amps on the plasma but as you can see it cuts it very 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 good obviously it has a little bit of a uh, edge to it that you gotta grind off as you can see this is what they call dross but look it literally just comes out so yeah what i'm gonna do is just uh get my grinder i actually got this little grinder over here milwaukee die grinder so this is nice because then i could just you know, take it off, shave it, make it look nice. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And uh, yeah, show you guys now the finished product. Once I grind it all, um, I can bend it, weld it, and that's it. Alrighty guys, so what I did notice, I don't have a press to be able to bend this bracket. So what I'm gonna do, there's another feature on here that you can actually use. It's called straight cut, which it'll just literally cut straight. Like you don't have to program any type of program to do anything. So in this case, uh, Remember how I already grinded this out? Um, what I'm gonna do now is uh, pretty much, just make a pretty much a straight line over here so I can bend it a lot easier because I couldn't I couldn't bend it with just, you know, with what was cut there. So what I'm gonna do is probably leave like an inch on each side and then just cut the middle so then I can just bend it straight. And then this one, I'm gonna see if I can bend it. If I can, then I'll do the same. I'll probably do the same, do another cut over here. Um, and then uh, I think there's gonna be another one here, but we'll see. Let me test it out. This is the first time I test out that feature. Right, guys, so what I did here on the fire controller is very simple. Uh, there's a feature right here. So you put straight cut. I want the cut in the positive X axis, 15 inches. I want to have 70 inches per minute as the cut speed. I want to use the IHS, which is the initial height sensor. That's uh, another feature that you can buy with the Crossfire Pro. So I got that done. And then the pierce delay, 0.5 seconds. Let's see, generate program. Boom, did it generate? So what you can do is, let me do a dry run. So it won't fire the torch. So let's do a dry run, start. Boom, so that's where it's gonna cut. It's gonna cut 15 inches. Boom, that's it. Close. And let's, let's put this bad boy back, back in the position. Perfect, so now I'm gonna fire it up. Uh, get the compressor on, and let's see if it does it. Let's go. All righty guys, so I made those cuts. As you can see, I made one there, one there, so now I can bend it easier. People have presses that go either in that or like legit presses that they can bend this metal. I don't have that now, so I just put a cut inside. I'm gonna bend it. I'm gonna weld it anyway, so it'll be nice and shut. Won't get water inside, so I'll show you guys now uh, the finished product. All righty guys, I didn't show you how to bend it, but it's very simple. Look, now with this cut, it's like, uh, very, I just have it there held on. Like, with my hand, I can just bend it to the spot that I want. That's it. All right, guys, so we were able to do all the bends needed for the bracket, for the splash guard, for the electronics that go on the CNC cutter. Um, so yeah, here she is. What I'm gonna do now, tack it up and pretty much just, you know, weld it. You don't really have to weld it. I mean, this will do. Might as well, you know, practice a little bit of welding, which I am horrible at, but one day I'll be good. So, yeah.
ready guys so after finally doing a couple grinds on those eh. welds here's the final product Here it is guys. I installed it, put some self tappers on there. There's a protector for the electronic box from the Langmire systems. I need to paint it eventually, but for now, for now that'll do, you know, but it looks pretty legit. So that'll actually cover it from uh, water going in there. So I mean, it's not the best, but uh, hey, it'll work better than having it exposed like that. But. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's for this episode, for this uh, video. Um, I hope you guys like this machine. I'm still learning a lot. I don't know what I'm doing. But um, yeah, so we'll we'll see what comes to play with this machine. This machine is badass. Langmire System Crossfire Pro. Um, yeah, so that's it for this video. Guys, make sure to like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, let me know if you guys like this uh, CNC type of videos. See ya. Of course, look at the baby right there and the other one over there, but uh, see ya.